Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar. And today we're in game with Skeggy Media. And we're just outside Harvest, because we're going to do the Plate Leggings of Courage. So we're going to do the quest to get that. And it starts in Harvest. So let's enter in. And we'll go by the default entrance. And here we are inside Harvest. Let's bring up the in-game map. And, oh, in fact, first of all, let's tell you where Harvest might be found, just in case you are unaware. So we'll go to the map on the way, and we'll bring up where Harvest can be found. Here we go. Harvest just here. You just across the water from East Guard, of course, the little island over here. And you have Brittany down here, or over here in the centre, so it's on the east side, southern east side of the map. And down here you've got Airy. Of course, all the way down here you've got Adoris. So, see where it's located on the map. So, now we're inside. The quest actually starts at a fort, and it took me a while to work out where the fort was, because it's not clearly marked on the map, but it's actually this structure here. So this is where the garrison is. So let's head down there. It's quite simple to get down there. We just need to come down the road down here, to the crossroads. Keep going, that is a little well, and then of course we just come round, so we face the right way, we take the lower path. And there's a couple of other quests in Harvest. Uh, there's the Witch on the Hill, if you talk to the children in the game. And it was uncloned when they just started doing farming in the game, so it has that rural theme to it. And of course now the game's about to go for launch. There's loads of player-owned vendors in here which we should see coming to light. In fact, let's get a little bit of running on, which if you want to do running in the game it's just hitting your forward key twice. Be aware that if you are running you are using focus. So it's not a good idea to do it in combat unless you're running away. Here we are at the place we've got to go right into the carry on going. We'll go down to the docks, which is where you would have gone on the path of courage. So I'm just going to take our right. And then we come up to we'll go past another couple of vendor plots here. It's somebody who's in the theme of things. Got loads of greenhouses for farming. And if you talk to the children in this area, you can start the um, Witch on the Hill quest. Let's and just up here, we should see the well. There's the well and the fort is just up on the right hand side. So let's head up here and talk to the garrison leader. Here he is, the knight commander. And a bit of light just to fill everything in. There we go. And we'll be polite and ask him his name. His name is Torben. Of course, his job. I am Knight Commander of Norgrad. I am stationed here in a harvest to assist the local militia in peace and in war. See if he wants any help. Have you ever heard of General Zaius? Most people haven't. He was a fantastic strategist who lived before the Cataclysm. A fellow knight of Norgrad claims to have the first edition of his book. 
the path of the eight steps. I have already paid her for the book, but she hasn't sent it to me for some reason. I'd like you to go to Resolute, collect the book from her, and bring it back to me. Of course, I will give you a fair reward for your time. And here you've got some answers that you can give, which I think do affect your virtues. So, seeing this character is more of a good character, I will proceed without delay. And I appreciate your enthusiasm. Look for M. Faraday in the Hall of Valor, near the city center, near the center of the city. I will send the pigeon so she knows you're coming. Hopefully she'll have the book for you and you can return to me right away. So now we have to go off to Airy. So off we go. And to get to Airy we're going to have to go through one of the passes in the game. I'll bring up the desktop again. So we have okay ourselves harvest here. And we've got to go sorry to Resolute, which is just in here. So you can either go through Superstition Canyon or you can go through Sanctus Spine. Now Sanctus Spine is probably the easiest one to go through and the one I'll be going through on this video. But they're all pretty much the same distance. Uh, Superstition Canyon has some um, much harder elves and you have to go through the control path pass and Sanctus Spine um, you can run round relatively safely. But whichever way you decide to go doesn't actually matter as long as we end up at Resolute. So out we go. I'll take this way out. And we'll just quickly get down here. Now there is another exit down here which I don't have on the map. But it can be, um, it's always helpful to have all the exits on the map because then you can choose which way you come into the town if you find one entrance is shorter than another over time. You can see more of the rural farming theme that's going on. So let's head on out of the town. You can see the entrance or exit looming up ahead. And we're going to take the path up here the bridge. Past the PvP zone of Diasporg Ruins. And we've kind of gone the wrong way. If you do go this way, you will meet or have the chance of meeting some bandits. So I'm going to continue on this way. This is a couple of bandits that love roaming on the road, so I'll go past Kaz Ruins and then up towards. Storm Song. Storm Song Vale and pick up the path again. And we've got Airy shrouded in the mist on our right. Not Airy, you sorry, shrouded in mist on our right. And we turn right to the Hallowed Pines. Got that one right. Heading up to 
Sanctus Spine. At the entrance of Sanctus Spine on this side, there's loads of wolves and bears. Let's bring up the map to this side so it can show the two different ways. Now we've got this way, which would force you through the control point, or we can come this way, take the path around, so we don't have to go through a control point. Now I'm just going to pretty much run through, won't be doing any combat in this area. But if you want to take the time and get some experience, just remember not to die too many times because you'll find uh, loads of kobolds up here and they the shock monkeys they do have the ability of stunning you which if you do want to get out their stuns if you just do a couple of jumps you'll find that you can get out the stuns and you can see it's very well guarded Cut the heels on me. That's the first wave dealt with. We have another group down here. Another shock monkeys, if you're lucky, you can get some mechanical parts out of them, which is what's used in for making clocks. Should be the last of the kobolds. Oh, that's done there again. And we're back to some wolves and some bears. Now, if you're on the path of courage, this is one of the passes you would have come through, but you would have been given a free passage through it by the little guard that's up on the left hand side there. So let's just head out of Sanctus Spine and we'll be in the middle area of Novia. So we'll just head on up to Resolute, she's up by high veil outskirts. Got middle downs on our left, and let's see Resolute up ahead of us. Just past Soren Fields, and let's head on into Resolute. So here we are, just outside the walls of Resolute. Now to get in Resolute you have to talk to the guard, you can't open the gate with the switch on this side. So I just need to talk to the guard and then choose the word opened, and see the gate open, and say goodbye and carry on in. Through the market. Just up here you've got the Kodo, the new crown merchant vendors here. I just need to go up to the Great Hall here. The person we need to talk to Oh no, she was up there before. So let's get her name, Anne Faraday. Okay, she was up on the top floor. I wonder if she's still up there. She's a Knight of Norgrad. Right, so let's ask... 
her name. Oh, that's Thomas Bailey. Oh, I did forget to actually help us on these quests. See some little blue sparklies. We can see one walking around. Collect the book from Anne Faraday, so it's that character there. I thought she was on the upper floor. That's why it's always a good idea to ask them their name, to make certain you're talking to the right person. Oh, now she's automatically in with herself, and the game has decided to hide the picture. That's not a problem. Hail Commander, I am Anne Faraday. I have received a pigeon from Knight Commander Torbin. He has stated someone was coming to collect the pre-cataclysm book entitled The Path of the Eight Steps. That he did not, that he did buy from me. Oh, now, that someone. Uh, yes, please let me know when the book is ready. He says, obviously genius, where's the book? Or you can say, hold on to that thought. <laughs> so, I'll say yes. And, oh, my pardon, Outlander. In truth, I do not yet have yet possessed the book. But my research has shown me where one may find it. It is under the Resolute in the library of General Zaius, buried centuries ago during the Cataclysm. A map of the sewers suggests that the tunnels nearby intersect with the library's, hall, library's halls. They stole what someone could have break through the walls, find the lost library, and recover the book. Alas, I was not I was not up to the task and left my gear behind. But me thinks that you could pick the pick up where I left off and could and we could divide the spores such that Torben you and I will be will be satisfied. I really recommend they rewrite this. Anyway, let us head down to the sewers, and I'll take a short way down. And the sewers entrance is to our right, which has given us a lot nicer indication up here. just becoming night time in the game of course in the sewers it doesn't matter we will bring up the light now and let's go down Down here, I will give you a clue. There are loads of undead. Right, and let's just check my deck out. Let's see if I can find them out which way it was again. So, something tells me straight on, but I've got, oh no, it was this way, would be a good indication. Um, through the thing we here, now, I believe the wall we need to break through is here. You can see that the wall turns green, so let's have a break the wall. Even though this is a good general combat area. Yeah, this was the way we needed to go. Brings us down into a lower area. There's another wall to break. Let's 
It's always knocked three times. I'm using the arrows as a clue. Uh, yeah, we had to swim through an underground river. We've got a wall here. So, just give that a knock down. Arrow's right on top of us, so it's, it's looking promising. There we go, knock three times. Right, so here we are. Let's enter into the sewers. And see if I can find my way. Left down here. I'm just going to light this torch. Sometimes lightning torches can help you find your way. Now, one thing you want to deal with is you don't want to let all these archers mount up, else you'll end up with loads of them around you and you'll become over and well overwhelmed. There's loads of archers down here, so you need to find a strategy of dealing with archers. I'm using plate armor with lots of damage resistance and avoidance on it. But whichever way you decide to deal with your avoidance, take a right, left. The skeleton down here, so let's deal with this. Another one's opened the door. I had to do this a couple of times to try and work my way through it, so hopefully I'll get through it this time. Take a right here, we're going to light the torch. Because that one wasn't the way. So let's put the torch out. Lit torch there. Run there, this way. This is looking more promising. Yep, here we go. Out down here, we're going to find an array of beasties, namely a ghost. So we'll be prepared to go down here. Getting loads of mages this time. Best thing to do is make certain to stick on just one of them. Deal with that one and move on to the next. See, they've already taken down quite a lot of damage. We so might need to head out, recover, and come back in. I hope I can do this in one. Get yeah, down to the last one. Don't think that's everything. A General Zavaeus. Gotta defeat him. And I might need to hopefully we can get some good clouts on him. And the ghost, you just got to give make certain that you're constantly hitting them, so it's a good idea to have auto attack on, so you don't miss a hit. Because if you give them any chance to recover, they will recover. I got them just before you're about to run out of focus. Yeah. Where was the item we wanted? Sit down there. I remember this bit again. Through the room here. Yep, there's the chest we want. So inside this lovely chest here, you should find the path 
of the eight steps. So there's the item we've got. Now we've just got to work our way back out. So there are loads of books in here if you do want to collect books. Might as well just quickly loot, get our rewards for our combat. Again, if you stay down here too long, of course they will respawn, not unless that's what you'd like to do for combat. And our rights, let's go up in here, but we shouldn't need to fight that one. As we are on our way out. This should be our exit point. Well, hopefully it's not too much longer for you. As I say, because it was a bit of a maze down there. We might get a map later on in the game. But That's all the combat that we've got to do. So now we've just got to head back to M and be nice and give her the eight half to the eight steps. And she's given us one thousand skill points, fifty gold. For all that fighting, only fifty gold. And we've got the path of the eight steps back again to deliver. And we've got the plate leggings of courage. So, and then she gives us loads of lurbage. Uh, now we can take the book back. But if we can have a quick look. In theory, you could take the book back at a later date. Right, so now we've got our nice plate leggings. Let's have a look at them. Let's go equipment. There we go, put the leg up there. Just drag them up. Let's go right mouse quit. And as you can see, they give us 40 health uh, with damage resistance and damage avoidance. Now what we need to do is head back to harvest which what I'm going to do to make this video a little bit shorter is I will see you in Harvest in a short while. Alright, here we are back at the fort in Harvest. Let's go and find Mr. Torbin. Again, we're using this little sparkly up here. I think he's actually inside his... Oh, no, there he is. Let's have a word with And then we'll say books to him. And now we can give him the eight steps book. And we finally gain 3000 experience, another 150 gold for completing the quest. Just back out. There's that. It is now officially the end of the quest and I hope you found the video helpful and informative and if you could follow me on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube that would help me grow those channels. Of course feel free to leave any comments in the comments section and I will get back to you and thank you for watching.